Kim Tersu, a software mogul turned politician and the former co-leader of the minor opposition People's Party, he had this to say about Korea's place in the rapidly evolving world. The country must act quickly to become a player in the fourth industrial revolution. Kim Young-gil zooms in on the third in a series of parliamentary addresses by each of the four parties. In his address to the National Assembly, Representative An Cheol-su of the minor opposition People's Party said, the government needs to lay the groundwork for the fourth industrial revolution, which he said will fundamentally change how we live and work. In order for the fourth industrial revolution to succeed, we must nurture young talent by revolutionizing our education system, foster fair market competition by reforming our industrial structure, promote knowledge-based industries, and protect intellectual property rights. Major countries around the world are preparing for the fourth industrial revolution, which brings together technological advances including the Internet of Things, artificial intelligence and virtual reality. And said Korea is currently educating people for jobs that will no longer exist when they enter the workforce. To address the problem and promise to help the government find new strategies, including in education, to help the private sector catch up with global front runners. We have to open up new land for opportunities through revolutionary changes in the education sector, so as to stay ahead of other countries in terms of fostering talent and creating jobs. Ann's remarks are third in a series of four addresses by the leaders of each party, outlining their policy priorities. Ann also said the February session is a good time for Parliament to vote on dozens of bills related to reforming conglomerates, lowering Korea's voting age by one year to 18, and establishing a governmental agency to monitor corruption among civil servants. Kim Young-gil, Arirang News.